Ah, Vincent Valentine. Now, don't lie. If you played this game at a formative age, you either thought Vincent was the coolest mother in the game, or you had a huge crush on him. Because say what you will, this broody, moody edgelord is a striking character. Being optional, Vincent's narrative is ultimately a little underdeveloped in the original game. He's a former Shinra agent who got betrayed, experimented on, and filled up with angry monster juice, and so he joins the party to find some meaning in it all. He relates to the Final Fantasy VII theme of identity in this way, as his struggle is largely about reconciling with his failures and his fear of being an irredeemable monster, and that reflects nicely off of Clouds and Sephiroth's theme. Later renditions of Vincent make him sleek and anime cool, but I always like the sloppiness of his original design. He wears this unbuckled coat over an old uniform and a chunky red bandana around his head. It's wrapped carelessly with his messy hair poking out of it everywhere, and it gives him the look of someone who's hastily trying to cover himself up, someone who's given up taking care of himself, and his claw hand and his red and black color scheme makes him look angry and violent. Vincent is, in other words, a mess, and that, more than the anime edgelord coolness, is what I think makes him interesting.